Yeah. Hello. Oh, and I'm exhausted just looking at it. <laughs> just because I know that I've got so much to do. Oh, my days. What is happening? How is everyone? <laughs> it's Saturday, and yet for some reason it feels like I've already gone through a week's whiff of my energy. <gasps> Hi, Shagan. How are you? Hi, Cameron. How are you? Oh, my God. I don't know about you guys. I mean, it's the day after, what is it, two days after Thanksgiving for you guys? Are you recovering? <laughs> I'm exhausted. I mean, I haven't even had thanks. I didn't knack it. Oh, Chica's there. Hi, Chica. Are you are you stuck in traffic? Uh, later today, I will be live for six hours straight. So come along and have you. Later today, I will be live for six hours. Ooh, so you're going live. Are you live now? Hang on, wait, let me find your thing. Are you piggybacking off my one as well? <laughs> Let's have a look. Where's your... You what? Say, hi, I'm Agave. I'm on the red wine. I up. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Gravity good. So let's try. Is that your username? I think I've got... Yeah, yeah. Follow you, follow you, follow you. Upcoming live. Right, okay. So you're starting at six o'clock in about half an hour. Right, gotcha. I'll, I'll remember. Not for another 30 minutes. Fab. Okay. So, because I've got a huge haul, you see. I might overlap with yours, and I try not to overlap with any other... People going live, but I've got so much. <laughs> I didn't know how much I actually had until I looked down. Oh my god! Like, how are you? I'm really thirsty. I've been out for dinner today. Well, went out. Um, no worries about overlapping. Ah, oh, fab. And I'll bring everyone over. I'll do a raid if there's anyone left. But yeah, if you. If you want to jump over to Cameron's uh, live, it'll be on for what? What is it? Six hour live? You are mental. <laughs> yeah. So today I went sourcing with Chica, but we uh, also had dinner and we had like a Weatherspoon's dinner and it was so nice. <gasps> Chicken wings. I had a really fancy Christmas pizza. Like they, their fest festive menu was really good. And I haven't seen a festive menu Christmas pizza before. I was like, I'm going to have to have it. So I had it. And it was really nice. So I'm like really full. And yeah, I've got there. We go. My my internet went all funny. Then am I dropping out in and out? Because my internet's been a bit funny today. Does anybody know who he is? Ten points if you do. I've forgotten how to pronounce his name, actually. It's like Dem... Dem... Playing up. Oh no. Keep on doing this. That's oh. What is going on? My internet is really just playing up. My alarm went off. I think it, something is happening with the electromagnetism in this house. It's just something. The alarm went off. The internet went... Oh, my goodness. A bit choppy, yeah, choppy. Blue Guy McGee. <laughs> no, it's like a Japanese um, like toy. And it's um, Daimon or whatever his name is, or Damion. I've forgotten. Hang on. Let me... Uh...
for comedy. And he's got this like, like Teddy Fleece ones. So we're like, I keep dropping in and out. It doesn't mean that I've gone. It's just because my internet's been really weird. That is so nice. Oh. <laughs> it's so nice. It's oh. right. I got this. I've actually weirdly sold this a couple of weeks ago. So a couple of weeks ago, like last month. It is a Care Bear, but it's the 25th anniversary one. And it's Shirovsky Crystal Eyes. And it's in really good condition. And it's got a metal uh, heart, which is really good. And it was only £3. I think uh, the last one went for £25, if I remember rightly. So that's quite good. Like it, like it. Is it... <laughs> My internet keeps on coming in and out. Oh, no. <clears throat> Just tell me if I'm, if it's not working. I'm... So that was today in Congleton. I got this as well. A cowboy hat. Nine, made in the US. And I just feel like I'm on Yellowstone now. But, oh, I don't like the feel of it. There you go. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Oh god, I've made myself big on the thing. So yeah, let me know if you can still hear me. I feel like it's not really working. Hello Michael, how are you? Can you hear me okay? Need to lose the hat, oh sorry. Oh, good, it is working. Thank you, Michael. Oh, I got a big bag of vintage baubles. Like, they're like the really nice ones, the glass ones. Uh, for £3, I'm going to split them up into little uh, bundles. There's some really good ones there, actually. There's that one. That one's a really good one there. Really nice. I've got to be very gentle. There's a pine cone one. That's an old one, that. But, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Three pound. Got to get them up quick, though. Doing well. I can hear and see you fine. Oh, good. It's just that I'm having really bad internet problems at the moment. Do you mean you don't like my uh, Yellowstone-inspired hat? <laughs> Hi, Cherry. You like the hat, oh. I like the other one that I had, that Australian one. That fit my head a lot better. I need to cut my hair anyway. But, um, yeah, the Australian one fit my head pretty nicely. That one's a bit kind of... Like, it's not as nice, I don't think. Yeah, it's not as... What's it? Uh, the hat is a bit small. Yes, it is very small. I got three bubbles, 10 peach... Each is worth 25 at some rare 60s Panora ones. Nice, Emma, nice. Well, I might have to pick... Do you follow me on Instagram? I think you do, don't you? I might have to pick your brain over some of them because I'm not at all... I know the vintage ones, but I don't know, like, the branded ones. So if I, if it's okay for me to find you, message you. <laughs> just so... Is this Panora, Panora or whatever it's called? <laughs> I might just feel Google it. It's all right. Well, let's see what I got. Oh, I got this for £10. I've, I've not been afraid. Do you know how, like, I always, like, if I spend over a fiver, I start panicking? Well, today it's been, like, the opposite. I don't really care. I'm just like, yes, I'll pay for that. I'll pay for this. This was £10, uh, 9 .99. And it's a Dax. Dax signature jacket. But it's cashmere. It's cashmere jacket. So I think... I'm just going to check it, actually. What is a bauble? Is that an ornament here? Is that, yeah, it's like a decoration, an ornament decoration. We just call them baubles. 
I don't know why. I don't know where it comes from. It might come from some Latin BS thing, but it's, yeah. I think it's because they're bulbous. Bulbous. They're round and bulbous. Dax signature jacket, and it's cashmere. Oh, see, there's one here for 149 quid. I doubt I'll get that. There's one here for 70. It's in really good condition as well, so maybe. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just don't. Hang on, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. that. Oh, that made me joke. I'm sorry. It's the alarm thing. There's nothing happening at all. It's just malfunctioning and going off. I think that means it's batteries running out. Do it now. Yes, please. <laughs> My dad's going to do it now. Oh, so now let's have a look. So, yeah, this I'll, I'll probably get about 30 quid for. The Care Bear, I'll get about 20 odd quid for. The Dax jacket, I think I might be onto a winner for that. I'm going to put it up for 70. Because it's a bigger size, it's like X, it's like double X. Um, yeah, oh, and I got this. This is a, my, one of my favourite brands at the moment. I've sold a couple of these in the past, but I've been finding them like near enough. Not every week, but like every other week. They. Uh, oh. Right, so um, six pound for one like no other. Had a sale today, a lounge fly to the US. Yes, well done, Kath. Was it a big one as well? Yeah, so I found these. The last one that I sold went for about 80 quid. Uh, this is six pound, which is good. And it's flown under the radar. I think they think it's like well, um, one like no other. It sounds like it looks like the tag. Looks like seven for all mankind tag, and they're not that big over here at the moment. So they used to be, but it's gorgeous, like embroidered one. Think Robert Graham, but nicer. And they're limited edition. So they only make about 500 per shirt per design. Uh, I got this really nice one. This is a Wesk shirt uh, jumper, sorry. W E S C. It's called the uh, Soup We Are. We are the superlative conspiracy. That's it. It's a large, uh, designed in Sweden, four forty nine, and it is like a proper Christmassy. Yeah, because uh, it is wool, uh, not one hundred percent wool. I think it's a wool blend. It's gold, gold. That should do quite well. Oh, I got this. I always do well with deal, deal. We got some deals, and it's a nice, like, rugby-ish kind of uh, situation going on. But it's made in the UK. Deal is a UK brand, but it's, like, a bit of a random kind of brand. Yeah, there it is, Deal. <laughs> BTInternet.com. So it uses, like, BTInternet.com, and that's, like, defunct now. But, um, yeah, it's, like, early noughties. Late 90s, early 90s brand. Uh, never heard of one of these brands. What? Um, Wesk and uh, Wesk is like European. And um, Deal is UK. And Dax is London, London, UK. Uh, about learning. Need need learning about things. Yeah. The Deal Top looks like it's you. I know I it's just not in my size, Kath. I would love it. I love those type of rugby shops. They're the things that I wear when I want to impress someone. <laughs> this is what I wear when I don't give a shit. <laughs> the deal type looks like it was C. Oh, yeah, I've just read that. Uh, it was an Alcy Wonderland backpack. Not a great one, but totally brand new with tags. Awesome. Uh, honestly, not like a car boot brand new. <laughs> yeah. It's brand new. It works. And if it, if it doesn't, you can bring it back. <laughs> that kind of situation. Right. 
Oh, let me take this out. I've got all my uh, all my receipts at the bottom of this bag. Okay. Oh. Next. Where is? Ah, oh, there it is. I got some Dolce Cabana. <laughs> Dolce Gabbana, and they are real. I checked. They are real. And they are very nice. They are worn. I need to clean them up and kind of make them all sparkly and brand new. But I paid £20 for them. I know. What is wrong with me? That is not good. Ooh, put that there. £20. But um, I'm probably looking at about 60 to 70. There's some people I've got them on, some like this on for about 200 pounds, or like 170 to 200. I'm like, nah. And they're not even new with tags, the pre owned. I was like, grow up. You're not going to get that. Uh, and the condition that he's in, hmm, yeah, I think I should do around 70 quid and then accept anything over 50. Just a nice leather size eight. Decent. What's that? I do collect okra grass from outside of Birmingham, though. I love the stuff. Okra glass. All ah, right. Very nice. Is that something to be on the lookout for, then? Oh, and all you Doctor Who nerds that are watching it tonight. Is it tonight it's on, the new one? I've got a Doctor Who 2009. So it's the David Tennant era. Look at this. It's a Dalek dressing gown, like bathrobe. How nice is that? I think it's a one size, but it does fit probably up to about a large, maybe an extra large adult. But um, yeah, brand new. They go for about 50 odd quid. Uh, yeah. So, and I got it for a tenner because I just thought it's in the moment. And for put it up like tonight, you never know. <laughs> Cheekily. Uh, oh, I found, <laughs> did I tell you about like when my mum, me and my mum went to Leicester and we were looking for like handkerchiefs for my mum. That's what we were looking for, these little handkerchiefs. I know I found some, so we got some. Oh, I got a, I got a uh, wicket from uh, Star Wars, but it's a flocked one. It's it's flocked and it's very posh. It's probably I got I spent a pound and it's worth about twelve to fifteen now. So it's not amazing, but I just thought, oh, it's that cute. Thank you. Oh, yeah, they are. 2016 Hasbro. So cute. So cute. <laughs> right. Put him up there for now. Wicket can look after this. This lot. There you go. Lee has a TARDIS one of those. Ah, yes, yeah, there's a TARDIS one. Maybe I should sell it. Do it. Sorry, I'm on Thursday. I'm gulping it down. Oh, this is a good one. It's Bonnie from Toy Story 3. Now, I need to check to see if she's working. Let me just have a look in the back. Should we check live? Should we do another live check? These are always funny. If you're new here, these are all, always hilarious. Whenever I check something, it scares the shit out of me. Oh, come on. Usually. Or me, Chica, we're in Biddulph and we're walking back. They're, they're doing a switch on the light, switch on in Biddulph up the road. They had at our town, they had it last night. The next town over, they've got it tonight. And um... oh, <laughs> do you want me to speak Ewok? I, don't, I can't speak Ewok. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, we were walking past this stall because there was like a like a community stall thing, and they were selling lint chocolate. You know, like the really posh lint ones, the limited edition ones. And they were selling them for two pound. So I got two. I got the salted caramel. I'm going to have that one tonight. But this one, this is like my favourite one. It's got it's the milk and white chocolate one. They don't. I don't. I can't find this anywhere. The milk and 
with the white chocolate one in it. So I'm really happy I found them. I bet they're like 10 years old. <laughs> and I'm just found they're really like hanging in the middle. But yeah, we'll, we'll see tonight. Oh no, I'll have the I'll have no, I'll have the chocolate one tonight. I'll have the caramel tomorrow. Oh, not good. Uh oh. Oh, not liking this. Ah, I can see a bit of a... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I haven't asked. How's everybody's sales? Right, everybody take a deep breath. Let's look. Hopefully it works. Come on. Oh no, it doesn't work. I think I need to do, to do that again. I think I need to. Um, there's some rust over the uh, conductor, and I just need to get it off. So maybe some uh, vinegar and uh, what do you call it? You know the the what's it? Maybe if I swap them out, actually. Look like cotton board, I don't know. I can cotton a little cotton board. There we go, let's try that again. Let's swap this one out. Oh, wrong one. Yeah. A piece of unsolicited. If you have any expired camera film, now is a good time to sell it. Why? Hi, Lex. Three sales today. I'm only part time, so I'm happy with that. That's nice, Emma. That's good. Because the thing is, it's still technically Black Friday, so any sales are good sale. Do you know what I mean? Like it's hard to sell on Black Friday when you're on eBay. Although they have been promoting it on eBay quite heavily, like you know, like percentages off and everything. So, okay, so just so you know, Bonnie, Bonnie from Toy Story 3, if it works, it's worth about 40 quid. So I'm going to try and get her fixed because I only paid like £2.99. Well, I thought it was 99p. Oh, £2.99, still, still something. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try my best to get her fixed just to clean her up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy Bonnie. Hi, well. Uh, film sells well to go with cameras that people give for Christmas presents. Ah. Just having me tea, what you all having? Oh, I'm so full from dinner. I had a spoons dinner with Chica. Oh, my God, we had three plates. It was well nice. And I ordered off the Christmas menu. Oh, I had like, um, it was like a Christmas, a festive pizza. And they had like chicken and like, weirdly, they had like mushroom with it. But then they had like brie. It was dead nice. Okay, I got these. I got, um, yeah, this is 2008 Mattel, but if you look, they've cut hair off. So that's not good. Um, yeah, 2008. This one's 2012. It's one of those uh, What's It dolls. But uh, yeah, both 99p. That's why they were from the same place as this. That's why I thought this one's 99p. But yeah, so still, they should be all right. Her eyes are really freaky. No clothes though. That's the th that's the trouble. Twenty twelve MG M M G Matter M G A. That's it. Is it Bratz? I don't know. Yes, I got them for a pound. Oh, I got this from the same place. Uh, Berghaus, but it was nine ninety nine. But the Hydro Shield. Let's have a look. Where is it? Where are you? Oh. They had it somewhere. Hydro something. Oh, 
Don't knock me drink over. Where is it? I had it like two seconds ago. Yeah, so basically, it's a, it's a really nice one. It's probably about 30, it's Beergauss, 30 odd quid, probably. But I got it for 9 99 But all of that, I got uh, 20% off. Like, I'm having red wine, but I've got MS's nibbly bits for later. Oh, is that that berry bunch? Merry berry bunch, or whatever it's called. Oh, that's gorge. Craigslist Hunter made a good comment to get eBay to get a young celebrity like Taylor Swift advertising TV. Yeah, that's a good one. I doubt that she'll do it though. She's a bit busy. <laughs> but I do agree. I, I understand what you're saying. They need to make eBay cool for younger generations again. Like it used to be. Okay, so Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Yeah, this is from yesterday when I went to Crew and I met Alison. Uh, three ninety five. It's just an All Saints last year. It's quite nice. It's an All Saints shirt. It should do all right. Probably about ten to fifteen. It's paid. Probably paid too much for it, but it's okay. It's fine. I'll live with it. Oh, I got this Indigo Moon three XL. I did pay up twelve pound. However, they go for about thirty to forty quid. So pretty decent, and it's really nice as well. Hi, Jilly B. I've got all sorts. Me yeah, that's it. The Merry Munch, yes. eBay can't afford to but no, they can't. Is there any others? <laughs> you can get the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> They're on a budget. Oh, I know what I'll show next. I know what I'll show. Oh, actually, I'll show this first. Squishmallow. Now, I want people to put this in Amazon. Veronica orange and this is the one it's weird in fact actually i'm gonna put it in let me try this one where is it where is it where are that Ah, oh, there it is. Present. Oh, it's not doing it. Ah, oh, why is it not doing it? Bum hole. Sorry, it's not doing it. I was going to just like try and show you it. Let me try again. Oh, hang on. I think it might have done it. There we go. Can you see it? Oh. So they are. There's a the Squishmallow. That's the, that's the one that I've got. Get it. I mean, it's it's new, technically new with tags on um, thingy, Amazon, but forty-seven quid could be good. Sold a hundred pounds worth of stuff in today. Nice. Stop sharing now. There we go. Uh, eBay should just raise our fees to pay for mistress. They'll raise them anyway, so they might as well. I never understood the Love Island collabs. Everyone that age is uh, every bracket uses vintage. Yes. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Sorry, that's the chair, not me, honest. Where's that other piece I got? Oh, no. Oh, I've just... I'm yelling timber and going down. Okay, so here's one. I can't find the other one. But it's Dat Martin's loafers. Ten pound. I think I could probably get about. I mean, just looking at the the usage, it's not that bad. It's quite good, and the leather is really clean, and the inside is really clean. I can you see it better from up there, really, with the light. But um, yeah, Doc Martin's very nice. Uh, 
size eight, good size. Good condition, I think I could probably get between 30 and 40. I'm going to put them up for maybe 49.99 and then just accept, accept anything over 40. Get George to ask you. Yeah, I'm a cheap biatch. Okay, I got this for a fiver from um, one of the charity shops. It's a size 14 Musto. And it is just very nice. But for £5 Musto, you can't go wrong. That's a £30 jacket, so... Bread and butter. Bread and butter. Oh, that's not me. That's this chair. I promise. Don't be rude. Oh, I got this. Monster. Cookie Monster. Snapback hoodie. Apparently, these do quite well. I had no idea. Let me... um. Find it for you. Let's have a look. Yeah, like pre owned, someone's got one up for like £19.90. Let me have a look at solds though. Let's have a look. Solds, condition, used. Let's have a look. Where are you? There's been a couple. Yeah, it's like 15 quid. You got a pound for it. It's all right. Fire at home finally. Oh, bless you. Right, so let's see else what I got. Oh, I got this. This is three pounds. It's a single. I've got the pillowcase. Look how vintage that is. Look how 90s this is. I want this in a double bed so I can keep it. Look at that. <laughs> that is so my era. Oh, yeah, I thought it was like, that was like a slice, it's an orange slice. I didn't know whether that was a smelly, because sometimes some of them, some things do like a sniff. You twisted my arm, I'm listing now. Good boy, good boy. There you go. Oh, another thing that um, uh, Alison made me buy <laughs> was this badge. It's from, uh, where is it? I think it's from 99. Oh, no, it's from 2002, sorry. So vintage, uh, and it's got everything, I think. It just doesn't have... Oh, it's got a couple of them. It's got a couple of the like, stickers. But the budget machine in box that as well budget 2002 uh 20 quid yeah that's pretty good the machine only yeah 20 quid awesome super budget ooh yeah the budget uh 1999 25 pound Plus postage. Oh, pardon me. Uh, $24.99. Yeah, easy. So, yeah, Bandai, £20. Good. So, thank you, uh, Alison. That was a, a lovely finding crew. Uh, right. Uh, which one's this one? That's not. Have I already gone over everything that I got today? I think I have, you know. Oh, flew through that. All right, so this is all the stuff that I basically got yesterday with Alison. Oh, I got a Jack Wolfskin's uh, school pack. What's it called? Schoolmate. And it looks like it's barely been worn. And, yeah, they're, they can go quite well. Ooh, a badger. I really wanted Cherry to... Well, no, she never did. Make your own bitch with it. Yeah, I've actually got a badge maker, you know? And I'm not even lying. It's somewhere under everything over there. So I could make my own. Um, schoolmate. So brand new, they're coming up at like 100 quid. And I'm like, eh, no, it's not that amount. Thank you.
really. It's like a rucksack, but it keeps going up with like jackets. Nope. It's really square as well. It's like a proper like squarey. Like, it's actually quite a good backpack. No, nothing's coming up on eBay. Oh my god. Jack Wolfskin. Schoolmate. Backpack. Yeah, this mm, not all Jack skin wolf skin. Jack wolf skins are made equally. That's the problem. They've got really cheap ones, then they've got really expensive ones. It's like, ugh. Hmm. Not sure about that, but it only cost a fiver though. Four ninety nine. So, and it looks basically brand new. It's like really well done. Oh, I got this. This is basically from my brother. It's Numbskulls, fifty p each, and they feel like Nintendo Switch games, like uh, travel case. So that's like a stocking filler. Oh, these are great. Oh, I got this. This is oh. So we walked in to this Age UK, and there's the pound rail like immediately left. Allison reached over and picked up this. For one pound. A hush t-shirt. Straight away. I mean, it's hanging. It's just like a yellow star. But a hush t-shirt for a quid? Yeah, right. Uh, and then I went to the end of the row and I found this for a pound. A kettlewell. Kettlewell top for a quid. How good's that? Oh, that we have... I had one of them, loved it. Made rude slogan badges. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would have been disappointed if I, yeah, same. Oh, and I got this as well from the same place. This was, oh, this was a pound as well. Fat Willies. Fat Willies Surf Shack. How cool is that? <laughs> I love it. New, new Key Cornwall. Love a Fat Willies teacher. I don't know if they're still valuable. They went through a moment, didn't they, where everyone was like picking them up. Depends if it's vintage or not, I suppose. Yeah, they're all mass produced now, that's the problem. Looking at about 10. Oh, someone got 13.50. That's pretty good. 16.99. Yeah, I mean, they only paid a pound for it, but it's so cool. It's part of Surfer history. Okay, look at this. Three pound vintage Causeway fruit cocktail, like t shirt, uh, not t shirt, um, what you call it? Hang glove things. Oh, fabulous. Oven set. Oven glove and tea towel. It's so cool. It's just vintage causeway. Let's have a look. I'm sure we looked it up. Alison looked up and it was like insane. Some of the, uh, what's it? Causeway. Honeycomb. Oven glove. No, it's not coming up. I think, did she do it on a, like, she might have done it on a Google. Oh, it's Irish anyway, it's Northern Ireland. Or made in Ireland. It's made in Ireland. There you go. <laughs> oh, I got some, uh, uh, what's it, fodder? Thingy. What, oh God, what you call it? CX fodder for getting a trade in. These are a pound each. Uh, where's the other one? has got a few more. Uh, yeah, a couple of quid. I'll probably get a tenner out of some of them. Let's see. A ceramic plate. Pop into shop. I want anyone want anything? 100 quid out the till. Send it over. Venmo me. George had one, but he ate it. A <laughs> caramel, yeah. I did. I ate it. I couldn't bother. <laughs> Just had my first neutral fit. Oh, get him to revise it. Tell him they're assholes. <laughs> oh, I got this. Uh, £1.50. Honey Monster. <laughs> 
feed the fun. I think this is one of the newer ones from like 2000s. But it's so cute. Okay, let's have a look. I haven't even checked this one. Plush, funny monster. Ah, oh, so in the Debra that we were in, in Crew, there was, um, yeah, it's not worth much. If I, the blue one is worth more money. Is a blue one worth a lot more money? And obviously the vintage one is worth a lot of money. But um, yeah, so in crew, when we went to, when I got that, um there was four dinosaurs, plushes, and they were in this kind of like jungly pattern print like fabric. And it's Jurassic, but I had one and when I was little, and it's a it is genuine Jurassic Park, but each one is worth 35 quid. And we said, Oh wow. How much like is that? And they said basically the lady was like, Oh, sorry, with the sold, we're just holding them for now. I was like, oh. But they were one pound ninety five each, and one of the well, each of them go for about thirty pound each, They're like from nineteen ninety three. Insane. You got neutral last week because the item didn't work. It, but ho oh, hum, why didn't they send it back? There? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Rum and coke would be nice. Yes. Oh, you're gonna need one after you hear this. <laughs> what? Crazy frog. I don't know if this will go for good money. They, used to, they, they went through a bit of a moment a couple of years. Was it two years ago? Everybody wanted one? It's 2005, this one. 2005. Ooh, crazy. That's just my crazy frog. Plush. It's a crazy flag. Plush. Oh, I've had the Hawaiian one, the one in Hawaiian shirt before. Oh, someone's got the one, this one up at 25. 18. 40. Behave. It's missing his little, like, jacket thing, though. Let's have a look on Souls. 14. There we go. 15. 15. 20. Uh, 12. 99. 15. 13. 24. Yeah, so... I put it up for 19.99 except anything over that uh, yeah the TV was oh, it was so frustrating oh, I got this for free I need to see if it works though is that Mr what's it tumble thing well that was free I got this for free as well this Looney Tunes Taz they had a box basically for free and I was like yes please oh I got this for a pound it's a Wallace and Gromit watch by Westco I don't know if it works. We'll see. I'll have to take it in and see if it works. Westco. Wallace Gromit watch. Oh, it's about 15 quid. Also got one up for 22. Hang on, let's look at sold. I bet like a tenner. Oh, 20 quid, but that's with the box. Yeah, that's not bad. 29.99, but that's with the box again. Yeah, it looks like it, the value is with the tin. The tin box. Although somebody did get like 90.99 with just this one. So, yeah, I don't know. I need to make sure it works and everything. I think it does. But, yeah, it's cute. Um, oh yeah, I got another Taz for free. This one is, is it 1993, 95? There we go. <laughs> I just love Taz. Oh, there's some more games. Knight Rider, that's a good one to get, by the way. I think it's worth like seven pounds in credit. I don't know. Oh, I got this for 150. Now, weirdly, Avatar stuff, you know, like the little toy figures, they are actually worth a little bit of something. If you've got like all the bits to it. So I've just got him though. I think he's worth like a ton. I don't know if it's Jake Sully. I think it's that other fella. Is it Jake Sully or is it the other fella? You know, the, the angry man. <laughs> the angry one. His friend, who turns out to be his friend in the end. 
Oh, no, I won't do it on there. I'll do it on my phone. My internet's playing up again, so if I just keep going in and out, I do apologise. Avatar figure. Is it Jake Sully or is it that other fella? Sute, that's it. To take a look at me now. I thought that watch would have been worth, worth more. Than I know sometimes it, yeah. Sometimes some people are lucky. Some people like you know, you can put it off a higher end. Some people buy it. Yeah, you just never know. Yeah, if you've got them in box, these toys they're worth a mint. Um. But uh, also, if you've got, like, all the little bits, they can be worth, like, you know, like, the flying dragony things. Yeah. It's pretty good, though. I just, I've never seen one. And they're really delicate. I forgot how delicate they are. Uh, oh, I got this to go with my my gang. It is a original, like, 90s Tomy Pokemon. Poliwhirl. Little Poliwhirl. So we're gonna, he's going up there in my little rogue with my other... Oh, wait, Pikachu's missing. Oh, wait, I found him. Found him. Pikachu. <laughs> there, that's my Tommy Pikachu. He's going to go with uh, Jiggly and Pikachu. There we go. They're all together. Friends. And my pink Yoshi. There we go. <laughs> right, I got this on the pound. Right, this was on a pound rail. A Ralph Lauren Polo. It was, it's 11 to 16. But look at that, a nice yellowy. What's it? There's nothing wrong with it either. It's, there's no holes in it. it. It feels brand new, but it's a it's a large eleven to sixteen. Polo Ralph Lauren, and I don't I don't usually get kid stuff, but that's like like teenager stuff. So, yeah, I think I do quite well with that. Uh, I've got a tool charm. Did I show you this from the other day? This is uh, a size fourteen. I think I showed you this. Oh no, it's it's been flicked off again. Which Pokemon? I'm Sa yes, Psyduck. Oh no, I think I'm Squirtle. Definitely. Oh, am I Squirtle? Yeah, I think I'm Squirtle. But then again, I don't really like swimming anymore, so it's like mm, we don't know actually. I'm not sure. Might be Growlith. <laughs> and here is a Master Plume with uh, his lightsaber and everything. Right, okay. I need to find out where, which date this is. The internet, man. 2008 Hasbro. Yes, yeah, so it's not obviously it's not like a a vintage one. Seven ninety nine. There we go. Seven ninety nine. <laughs> um, oh, I got these Peruvian connections. Oh yeah, Jigglypuff. I suppose I am Jigglypuff because I've got a Jigglypuff there. There we go. Yeah, I'll take that for the win. <laughs> okay, so I've got two Peruvian connection. Uh, What's it? There we go, Peruvian connection. Um, Cardies, both larges. Oh, actually, I think one's a large and one's like a medium. But it's that really like weird patterns. They're not, the cotton, what's it? It's the not, uh, yeah, Pima cotton. They're both Pima cotton. Charmander, yes, I guess I am a kind of a, be a Charmander. Um, oh, I got this. This is so cool. And it works. It was three pounds. Three is green. Good. 
<laughs> You're just going to watch me play with this now. The what? The stars? Where's the stars? This is really hard. <laughs> oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can count everyone. Proof. Okay, so you take that out. That's really good. How did you know it's like the same one? It's a Barney. It's a level 96, you know. <laughs> I think it's a 2002 Barney, and it works as well. Probably 20 years old, and it works. But then again, I suppose, like, I barely work, and I'm like, <laughs> 2002 Barney. Barney's. What's it, Ty? Should I do a What's It Craft? Oh, learning fun. Learning fun. Hey, Barney. Apparently, they're remaking Barney. Daniel Biega wants to do it. Learning fun laptop. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at laptop. Oh, there it is. There we go. £20. Yay. That's good. 20 quid. Not bad. You won't be selling that Barney like that. I know I'm going to keep it until I complete it. I've just uh, sorted out my Black Friday buy returns into their parcels. <laughs> uh, the Pokey Post thing was in Leon today, so I told my brother to go and get some of the free cars to sell on eBay. He said it was get he said it was getting angry, and they had to have security. Where's that? What's that? Pokey post thing. Hang on. What's this? So you get free cards. So you go and get like cards and stuff. When and where? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it is in Lyon. The next one's in Paris in, uh, in the 2nd of December. Munich in Germany. Oh, the one in, next one in England is um, the 19th of December on the South Bank. Come down to our Pokey Post mailing office. Collect a Pokemon trading card game gift. Address your envelope, slip it through the Pokepost counter, then receive your own gift pack to take home and keep. Strike the best pose in the photo areas and meet Pikachu and Eevee at scheduled times throughout the day. Ah, oh. please note Pokepost is not an actual post office. <laughs> All Pikachu and Eevee appearances are subject to change without notice due to weather and unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> That's so good. So basically, it's like a promo thing. Interesting. It's a little hot when they're giving away limited cards. Nice. It was all big man resales there trying to grab more than one set. Oh, bastards. We don't like that. We don't like that. Give it to the kids. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, they didn't have it. Yeah, they had it in Cardiff uh, yeah, even after Ian MOP arrived. Yeah, my friend went to get one in Cardiff. She cancelled going to see the Christmas lights to get we need to go to it. Oh my god! So two cards he got for two for a hundred pound. Well, I suppose if you get it, that's fine. Oh, I got these. I know it isn't the season, but they're only two pound fifty. Just some Billabong shorts. <laughs> I don't. I always pick up Billabong shorts if they do if they're like dirt cheap. All right, where's the rest of stuff? I'm sure I've got like loads more stuff. I bet it's like hiding somewhere. Oh my god. I've got so I've 
it is a lot. I mean, there is a lot here. Oh, there's that other shoe. I got this very uh, funky 70s pattern. It's very nice. It's like a little uh, toiletry bag. It's just nice. I think it's from like the 90s. It's this funky. Oh, I got this. This is gorgeous. It's a, a Peter Rabbit fabric calendar. Oh my God, we we're in the charity shop today and there was this woman and she was like, I'm trying to have a plastic free Christmas and I'm not having any sugar in my house. She, I was like, what? It's Christmas. That's like the law. You have to have sugar. <laughs> Unless like, you're diabetic, obviously. Oh, my days. What a day. I've had a day. And now I'm trapped with all this tat. So basically, I've got a car boot tomorrow, but I'm kind of like second guessing whether I should go. Um, but I'm very tempted just to blow it off, actually, and just list, list, list and relax. Because obviously, I went to crew yesterday. I... Um, Actually, yeah, I went to crew yesterday. I've been out today, and it's like, oh, I'm just a bit tired. At Quinton Lights are being turned on by Junior Andre. What's that? Who's that? I don't know Junior Andre. Uh, what, what are we doing? Uh, Emma, I have tons of Pokemon in my attic from the 2000s. Oh, my God, Jilly B, get them online. Sell them. Bell's just posted Chico is turning their Christmas lights on. It's Chico time. Oh, God. Um, Najilly, you're thinking of that tall, dark-haired guy. It's going to be so cold in the morning. Have a lie-in and then do some listening because it's Cyber Weekend. That's what I'm thinking as well. It's like, I need to get all this stuff on. There's so much. I've probably got over 200 items now that I need to do. And I think... <sighs> do I... Keep listing until I run out. I think that's the, the what I'm looking at now. I'm going to just keep listing till I run out of stuff. That's my job now. I'm not going to... Because you know me, I, I've sourced so much this past month. And I've probably oversourced. I feel like I have actually oversourced a little bit too much. But I think it's now it's time to get everything on and get... I want some money in my bank account now for Christmas. So, yes. That's, oh, there's that buddy pillowcase. There it says. Yeah, so I've got lots to do. Lots to do. Lots to do. Oh, actually, let me check my uh, Depop and eBay. Yeah, I've sold a couple of things on Vinted today. I'm quite impressed. It's to, I've, I sold something yesterday. I sold um, like a £35, pound, uh, sorry, a £45 pound item yesterday. So I'm quite happy with that. But um, on Vinted, I've sold like a couple of low value stuff, which is nice. I'm really happy with. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, a couple of low value stuff, which is nice. Uh, from the other day, I was uh, I did a, like a big list of uh, things. I think it was like a hundred items. I, I I put down to like. It ranges between like five and ten pound, and like three of them in a week have already gone. Or oh, not in a week, and in like the past two days, I've already gone. Twenty three seventy five. Let's see if I can uh, if I can do basic math and add up how much I've made today. <laughs> Because I have spent a lot of money today. I blame Chica as Chica's fault. <laughs> She's a bad influence. <laughs> uh, oh no, I've already done that. Twenty three seventy nine. Oh, oh God, though, I had some right drama yesterday with my car. <sighs> or with my dad's car, my mum's car. So basically, um, did I tell you a couple of months ago that I got a bill from... 
Birmingham City Council saying that I went for a ULES, a clean air thing. And obviously, so everything's in my name and I pay for all the, uh, the car and everything. So they were coming after me. But basically, my we moved house in, what was it, uh, September 2021? They only got it only got to us because the old estate agents got the letter and for and uh, emailed us, said, "Oh, you've got a what's it?" And they scanned it and sent it and everything. So they didn't have. I don't know why they didn't have my new details because my driving license has this address on it, and that's issued from the DVLA. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, uh, they wanted four hundred and ninety nine pound, and I was like, "No." Anyway, I uh, contested it. I haven't heard anything. And I got another bill yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah, it was yesterday morning for £269. And basically, I rung them up and, and they said, well, you need to pay it. I was like, right, I'm paying it off, but I'm going to get it back. I'm going to appeal it and uh, take it to small claims court because I shouldn't have to get that. I have to, shouldn't have to pay that. Anyway, so I just paid it off. But yeah, I was so annoyed yesterday. I was like, ugh. I wonder why it's gone down, though. It's weird. Weird. 56, 54. Oh, yeah, so I've made well well over my target. That's good. That's nice. It's always a nice feeling when you've hit your target and, like, push through. Now on to doubling. I want to double my target. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love quarter four. My average day is, like feels like almost double what it what it usually is and it's like oh it's so nice it's such a nice feeling right so let's see well, i haven't seen the chat let me have a look oh oh god bless my mum i said she's because she knows that i've been out today for dinner she said she's just texted me saying i'm at because we're having a late a late tea she's like i'm at the chippy do you want anything do you know what i just fancy a sausage don't don't even, Lex. I know you're typing something already. <laughs> Jack, and you, Jack. <laughs> yeah, just fancy a sausage. Right. It's freezing up, love. I'm going to look at cameras tomorrow. Ooh. List, 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 and go out shopping when the itch needs scratching. Yes, I agree. He was born in Bridge End. Does he know who you are, Alex? Yeah. Only 200. You need to come visit me at my apartment and look at I have 20,000. What? 20,000 items. Oh, my goodness. No. Yeah, hi, Jack. How are you? Uh, Chica, who's the hat? Um, was on Pop Idol. Yeah. No, I don't know him. Yeah, he did. Uh, it's Chico time. Did it, did it. It was like a novelty act that actually made it big. Or he he had like a number one single or something. Where did you go sourcing today? Well, I went to Crew yesterday and then Chica came up and we were basically around uh, Congleton today, Cheshire. Oh, we went up to Biddulph as well. Chica looks like she's a bad influence that your parents warned you against. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a bad influence on her as well. <laughs> Why so high? I bet your ta uh, car tax isn't even that high. I know. Well, no, it's because they sent the enforcement agent around. So you know how they, like, they bail it all along. Well, they were sending it to the wrong address. We hadn't lived there for two years. And then when the estate agent actually said, oh, you've got a letter through, we opened up and like, what the, what? Because we were, if, we, if you get, like, if you go through, like, a bus lane or if you go through a ULES, you're like, yeah, I'll pay the £60 or whatever. You can pay it all the £30 if you pay within a week. So I'll pay it. It, it was my fault, fine. I'll hold my hands up and I'll pay it. But they've been sending it to the wrong address. And it's not like we've been hiding it from the DVLA because we've we've put all of our information through and changed all the details. I've even got my driving license. Like It says this address. So it's like, how can they not know what address I was at? I think they're doing it on purpose to rev up all the fees. Anywho. So, yeah, I paid it off, but I'm going to appeal... And I'm going to take, if in doubt, I'll just take him to small claims court because they've got not, not got a leg to stand on. Um, even if it's high, Laney. I was going to say, yeah, Cherry, don't even. 
I love quarter for right now. I've got my December rent bills in January and enough for Lyon and a forest holiday. A forest ho- What is a forest holiday? Is that just a fancy way of saying camping? Whew. Nice, Lex. Nice. Will it be back? You didn't. You didn't, Jack. You didn't. Um, hi, Gary. How are you? I was distracted by the puppy. Oh. Yeah, Cherry, I have to look at camera for videos and photographs. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Are you on tonight, lady? I buy tons, lots of Lego figures. Ah, right. Okay. So it's like, oh, yeah. I know what you mean now. Yeah, because I know somebody who does like trading cards, and I think they've got like a few thousand. It's like, it's mind blowing. I think there's an Amer- <clears throat> there is an American reseller that only does trading cards, like um, sports trading cards. And I think he's got like 10,000. It's insane. Some car park parks with cameras even charge if you go to turn around and drop something. Yes, they do. It's really nasty. Could do a private if you fancy it. Ah. <laughs> oh. I have fifteen to twenty thousand sports cars to list one day. Oh my god. It's a log cabin in the forest of Dean with a hot tub. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds like a horror story. <laughs> you know, like a horror movie. Do you want a puppy? She's really good, honest. <laughs> Just wanted to go to bed watching, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the murders. Yeah, the, the axe murderers. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a day, of sourcing day. And like I said, I've, I've sourced so much. I have a few. I mean, I've got those two Peruvian connections, which I'm really chuffed about. Oh, that was from the other day. I've got some really good stuff. I've got a Musto jacket. They've got some nice stuff today. I got that Indigo Moon thing that I was going to put up. Just some lush stuff. <sighs> so is everybody. I've hit my target already. In fact, I blasted past my target. It's been a good day. It's been a positive, productive day. I've been fed. <laughs> You know, I'm about to get um, fed in more. Oh, and I've got some really nice chocolate that I've never thought I'd find again for £2, which I'm really chuffed about. The milk and the white chocolate, which is my favourite. Lynch chocolate. Lushy. Yeah, so glad. you need to celebrate the good days, even if it's like little good days you need to and it's nice did you go christmas shopping oh nice are you all ready then or is it just like have you only got like a few things because i find that sometimes you need to have like a big day where you do all your christmas shopping or you get it slowly as you go along i uh, got to go got a table booked at a wine bar in peckham Ew. get you jack Glimmers, yes. Well, have fun, Jack. Have a uh, Prosecco on us. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lex, for that drink that you sent me and my mum. By the way, Mark Wall sent us... Did anybody see that picture I put on my Instagram? Mark Wall sent us uh, two zombies uh, cocktail things. <laughs> he said... Oh, well, where did he put it? Hang on. Oh, yeah. Just ordered you two zombie cocktails. Enjoy. And I said, my 60-year-old mother just asked what a zombie cocktail is. I said, try it and you'll find out. <laughs> and the pictures, that they are... Pit- what he thought, he thought he was sending two cocktails. Instead, he sent pic- pictures of cocktails. So we both had one each. Insane. I'll be having the cheapest glass of Savvy B they sell. <laughs> nice. Just a few bits. My sons want money. Oldest is getting a tattoo for the dog's memory. Oh, and the other is a saver. Oh, yeah, I always find out. Like, you, you, one or the other. Don't feel for, for the bar like devil. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is going. <clears throat> uh, what was it? I wanted to send a drink. <clears throat> but I saw it at like 30 minutes before you were going to leave and I didn't want you to miss them. Oh, it's all right, Jerry. It's fine. I'll send Cherry shots. <laughs> no, can't do shots. Uh, you're going to be mad. We have a Lynch chocolate. 
battery out like one and a half hours for me. What? Nice. I think I might just like move to Switzerland. Is it Swiss chocolate lint? Or is it, uh, what's it? I think, oh, it manufactured in Italy. Yeah, Switzerland, yeah. I have to go. It must have been very many. We were both really tired. And we were both like, because I've been out in crew shopping all day. I was like, oh, my God. And, yeah, we went through the market because they were having this uh, Christmas light switch on. But then there was like a food market that was reopening or just opening and they've done it all up. So we were like, we had a bit to eat there. And then we went to the spoons and everything and saw some carol singers and everything. And yeah, so we had a few drinks and we got some donuts on the way back. <laughs> some of those horrible little donuts, but it smells really nice. TTFN, Jilly. <laughs> oh, I'm Keir Jackson. Uh, it is weird, uh, but we have a few factory outlets here in the States. And nice. Nice, yeah. I got these for £2, which I'm really chuffed about. I got the caramel ones as well. I, don't, I think I might have the, mil the milk chocolate ones tonight. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is tonight, I'm I'm not going to do any work. I'm going to rest. And I'm tomorrow morning, I'm just going to go for it and try and put up as many stuff as possible. Because I've also got to go to my lockup and pick up some orders because I didn't do it today and I didn't do it yesterday. So I've got like days worth of orders backed up there's like 20 odd parcels and it's they get a bit antsy around this time of year like oh when are you sending my parcel when is it? it's like all right it's been two days calm down yes <sighs> all go okay Enrique Iglesias is retiring for music. I didn't realise he hadn't already. I know he's quite big in... Uh, is it Spain he's quite big in as well? So I'm just checking the thing, making sure it's all, all tickety-boo. I love lint chocolate and love hotel chocolat rum truffles. Yeah, I love... Rota. Have you tried the hotel chocolat... Um, uh, hot chocolate it has actual like pieces of chocolate that melt so it's like it's like liquid melted chocolate it's gorgeous uh, i got myself a cadbury selection box because i don't eat chocolate often and i tell you that whirl was the best one i've had ah there you go i love a twirl though i do love a twirl it's just nice it's just like creamy and lovely lovely Right, let's have a mooch on here. Right, so I've been on uh, an hour and 15 minutes. I, and I know that Gravity Goods, Cameron at Gravity Goods is on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me just, uh, whoop, he's on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste his, uh, li his live on in the stream. I hope it comes through all right. There it is. Uh, yeah, so it's Gravity Goods, Cameron with a K. So if you want to go over, and I think he's listing stuff and he's working stuff, but he's doing a six-hour stream. I don't know what for. <coughs> I don't know if it's for Charity or not. I think it's just him working. So if you want to go over and uh, give show some love and support for him, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, I think he's in the states. Uh, so yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I'm going to lurk in his live and I'm just going to sit up, sit back and relax. I'm going to eat my sausage <laughs> and I am uh, eat my chocolate as well and just chill out for the rest of the evening because I'm a bit tired. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to go to bed early. But toodle pip, toodle pip. Is he UK? No, he's American. Uh, but yes, nighty night, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. It's been lovely. And yeah, I'm hoping everybody has a, has a fab evening because yeah. Good juju for all. <laughs> Night. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.